morning, ladies. Any gentlemen in here? Yes. All right. We're off to a great start. But uh, hey, uh, welcome to the United States Army Sergeant's Major Academy. I'm uh, Sir Ray Gordon Lloyd. I haven't had a chance to meet you yet. I was uh, up at Fort Sam and, uh, and stuff. She, she's more intelligent and definitely better looking, right? <laughs> But uh, really, uh, this morning what we wanted to do is to give the Sergeant Major of the Army and his bride an opportunity uh, to talk with you. This is probably one of the largest uh, PCSs of families to the Academy in recent memory. So thanks for, for making that leap of faith to come here and to uproot your family and participate in what I think is going to be a great year for you and your family. It's probably going to be one of the most predictable years of your military experience. Uh, Sergeant Major Malloy and Debbie do an amazing job this year. You know, there, there are actually lots of things to do in El Paso. You do have to kind of look for them. So, I, so hope you have a great time. Thanks. I'll see you later. tell you what's going on, not tell you what they think you want to hear. And uh, number two, they've been in the fray. He's in charge of family programs in my husband's office. He and his, Sergeant Valley joins with the rest of the team, and they write a trip report. And my family does. I sit on Secretary Abel's um, family writing center, department of defense club, uh, gardening, you know, whatever appeals to you, a hobby, a craft, because this ends. The Army ends. And I've heard a lot of spouses say, well, now what am I going to do? Family, go see the same people again and again and again. And so it's a lot of more than one. But <laughs> that's my best advice. <laughs> um, attorneys, CPAs, financial planners. And what I say is, say that um, I was working for a CPA firm. So I can bring in a fresh perspective on what's going on in the area where I Like she says, this ends, you know? And I actually had a girlfriend say, he can't retire until I know what I want to do after the army. And it's like, really? You had this long to decide? But the best thing about being here this year is it truly is we don't take for granted that you sacrificed your family back. And I remember pulling my kids out of school and bringing them here. We had ruined their life. They hated us. The world was going to end, you know? I believe now is the time to express your opinion about family programs. Uh, do it with ice comments. The because um, that creates a paper trail, and you know then that has something that that's it's physically in writing. Well, let me ask you a question. How how is it going? And so one of the best contributions that we can make is to be informed and to know about you know prescriptions, Tricare, uh, education, homeschooling. You know all these different programs and opportunities that um, are out there. So, and I'll take one last question. Outside of Post, we'll get you all that information. And Post does a lot of stuff for the kids, even the teenagers with all the rock climbing and the new aquatic center. So get out and enjoy this year. <laughs> We're going to have to wrap it up. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Good job. I think that um, uh, the challenges that I have faced is what every military spouse uh, ch uh, faces. Change of location, uh, change of schools, making new friends, um, uh, becoming familiar with the facilities on a new post, um, getting involved, uh, and you know, just picking, packing it up and starting again. Uh, what I've learned is we have a fantastic army. Our young people um, are true American heroes. Uh, the majority of our army volunteered after 9-11 during a time of war. Um, they're literally raising my personal heroes. And uh, what I think the biggest thing that I've learned is our army uh, is in great shape for the future. It's in good shape now, but it's in great shape for the future with our young people. My wife is uh, my best friend. And uh, when you have a best friend, they're willing to tell you what they think and not what you want to hear. And. Uh, my wife is a, a huge part of my success, and uh, and 
I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have met her and married her. And, uh, and you just, I think sometimes you can take that for granted. And you just have to remember that uh, we're a team. Uh, and that as we move forward and transition into the next phase of our life, that, uh, you know, we'll have gotten through this together. And, uh, and I'm eternally grateful for that.